care about this stuff but i do so i'm hoping you guys will be entertained by this but um a employee of no jumper called yuri is going through some crazy shit at the moment with his girlfriend online he's doing these iro live streams where essentially he's live streaming his entire life for money online um people tip um and donate and then that basically extends the amount of time he does flipping live streams i think it's basically until the you know i think it's ending maybe in a couple of weeks or something i'm not too sure but regardless the live streams is really affecting his relationship with his girlfriend riley to the point where now they are on the brink of breaking up every single day they get on live stream and this recent episode that they've gone on has been legitimately the most funniest shit i've seen in a very long time they both went to a house party somewhere in la and it went completely completely left it went really, really left. This house party they went to because um, Yuri ended up getting to a situation where one of the fucking, you know, stragglers on, one of the sloshes at this fucking house party tried to, you know, hug my man, tried to get a little bit freaky with him, tried to throw her box at him while his girlfriend was there. And of course, she didn't respond too well. And then that led to them arguing and having a really big falling out at the end of the night. The whole thing is absolutely funny to watch. So we're going to watch it all the way to from the beginning and we're going to play it out courtesy of this uh, youtube account called joe joe number which is absolutely amazing name to be fair but you can check out yourself here the title is as follows i'll put it up on the screen so you can see it is riley freaks out after party girl flirts with yuri it's on a channel called joe joe number check it out if you haven't already it's fucking hilarious and this drama has been sensational to watch in real time Sen fucking sational so let's play oh yo hey my turn can i hit one of those with you <laughs> Make sure to find me, alright? <laughs> alright, go <laughs> Yeah, this is the video. Tony Tube says, didn't Riley try to fight someone recently? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, big up my oh, guy. Right. Oh, 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 big up my guy, Stoic Savage in the chat. Big up respect, brother. Hope you're well wherever you are. Uh, big up Natural Born Killer. Big up Normal Citizen. Who's John Africa? <laughs> big up you. Big up E09 Bella. Tony Tube. Cruise Control. Everybody in the chat right now. Appreciate you all. Make sure you smash that like if you're enjoying the content. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. She's super friendly. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, sorry. <laughs> she's super friendly. <laughs> she's super friendly she always wants to fuck what do you think super friendly is look at this oh yo make sure to find me yeah <laughs> yo american girls are such fucking whores whores slacks slags Fuck you know. Make sure to find me, yeah? Yeah? Homeboy could get it. Big up my girl Gigi Hadid. What's wrong with these American girls? Like, fuck you know. Have a glass of water, love. Relax. Alright, go away when I chill, relax. <laughs> chill, relax. A gargoyle that looks like imagine a gargoyle that looks like fucking Yuri turning you down as a girl. You should take that as an offense. You should be really offended if you're a girl and a guy that looks like Yuri turns you down. That should literally be a moment for you to be like, you know what? I'm gonna have to unalive myself. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. oh yeah, she's super friendly. Sorry. You know, you know how I am. Look at Potlord. Potlord's definitely smashed. Potlord's definitely smashed. You know how I get down, Potlord. You know I'm always fucking the homies. <laughs> Fucking the homies! Oh, Yuri as well, man. This guy's such a dollop. Calm your girl down. Make make light of it. If you're a dude and that happens to you and you're in a dance and some random slush tries to lips you up in a dance floor next to a girl, play it down. Don't egg her on like you want to scrap. Unless you want to scrap. Unless you want to turn that shit into one of those CCTV images of like a club in Russia where everyone's just fucking getting with it. Fair enough. 
But usually, in that scenario, calm it down. Because the last thing you want to do is get your girl in a fight. And imagine if your, if your girl gets washed. What are you meant to do as a boy? If you're there, if you're in the dance with your girlfriend and she gets washed, right? What do you do by another girl? Do you get involved? Do you beat up the fucking girl? Are you there fucking throwing help? Like, what do you do if your girl's getting absolutely dog walked in this fucking house party as a lad? That's why you should always calm the situation down, take a missus home, whatever it may be, try and defuse, but you don't go, hey, babe, she tried to hug me and wrap her arms around me, babe. <laughs> He's such a fucking bitch. Lenny Gambino, you bet I'd be jumping in. You know, two feet in like that, two like with a whole foot. God, you fucking cow. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're jumping in two feet for our girls, mate. We're jumping in. You know what I mean? No. You're not, you're not beating up my girlfriend. No way. You're not beating up my wife, the mother of my children. You're going to die. She's, no, she's, I know. She's doing too much. Okay, you want me to kick her off? Oh, look at Riley taking off her earrings. Whenever somebody takes off their jewelry and shit, they're not really with it. You just got to fight straight away. You just be on sight. All this calm taking off jewelry and shit is a sign that you're not really with it. You're just trying to send signals. It's like when boys get really loud. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. And that's usually a sign that they're scared, don't have to fight. When you start taking off earrings, come on, man. Just start scrapping, man. Well one for this. That white girl doesn't know how to pull earrings. Just start scrapping. Bop, 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 bop. You know what I mean? Just go. She in the instant got the vibe when I threw her arms off. I was like, no, no, no. no, no. Like, so she knows. Yo, hey, don't, don't, don't ever, don't ever. She instantly got, she instantly got the vibe. Like, honestly, Yuri sounds like such a fucking bitch in it. Such a fucking Randall. She instantly got the vibe when I told her. Bro, you should be lucky. You should be lucky. You have women fighting over you the way you fucking look and the way you carry yourself. You should be fucking lucky. She is a leg out the vibe. Fucking no, this absolute dork. He's trying to cover the fucking camera to not let people dox him and shit, but it's too late, man. You put too much of your shit out there already, my friend. That's all good. I don't care. Like, it's more busy than I can find it. <laughs> There's more bitches where that came from. Look at Toke with the with the Toke's always got the white itches on Smash. Thank you. Riley pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley pack out that lot lizard for two. Bro, she was about to get fucked up by Riley for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, because you encouraged it, you fucking donut. You cannot be throwing your arms around. Around me. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yuri's in his hot boy era. Hot boy Yuri. This thing back out the lot lizard. <laughs> she was like, she didn't she, know any better. First she came up to me and she was like, she was like, hey, can I hit those, uh, can I hit that joint? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> look at you. Look at Riley's face. <laughs> She's confused, man. Like, honestly, what are you doing with your life when you're fighting over fucking Yuri, man? Fucking hell. What are you doing with your fucking life? Look where you've ended up. Look where you've ended up. When we go outside, then she's like, thank you. And I was like, get your... I was like, no. I was like, get your arms off me. Instantly. Watch it. Instantly watch it, man. Fuck off.
wish a guy would do that to me. And we're, I, I would assume we're all friends here, right? And they're like, oh, let's hit the split. We always, we I would actually love it. If a guy did that to Riley, I would love to see what Yuri would do. Absolutely fucking nothing. He'd be crying in a corner somewhere or he'd start bullying his girl. Like how you, you encouraged him. You just stood there and let him hug you. He would fucking bitch out instantly. We all smoke together I'm outside good. already. She's cool. You can uh, exactly, jo um, Lenny Gambino. He keeps escalating. That's what he does. He keeps fucking escal escalating the shit. Instantly get a vibe. That girl is already being crazy. I threw her arms off me. Good. <laughs> because that bitch is gonna get packed the fuck out. Uncle Ronald dropped a bag of one dollar and ninety nine cents. Pack the fuck out. <laughs> Riley using these words. Uh, what fight has Riley ever been in? Come on, man. You look like a sweet girl. But let's not let's not do this, man. You're already embarrassing yourself by arguing over this fucking yuri guy fine will be the lowest of the low you end up going to jail for what for nothing for this fucking guy Riley, that chick gave yuri sloppy toppy on hood <laughs> no relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is mean that girl gave yuri sloppy toppy on hood <laughs> on bye bye free my one drops a bag of one dollar and 99 cents girl wow man, honestly la is so much fun right they're just Lambos, just casually in people's parking lots. Because, you know, they're obviously guys who drive Lambos and Ferraris here in the UK, but the roads are so fucked up and kind of narrow. It's not really fun. There's loads of speed bumps everywhere. It's just not the funnest place to drive these kind of cars. And obviously in the UK, if you're driving a nice car while black, you're going to get stopped every single fucking day. You, even if you're driving a decent fucking BMW, not, nothing too crazy, a decent Audi, a Mercedes, people stop you every single day. So I, want, I can't even imagine what it would be like if you drove a supercar you know in the uk but in la or wherever or wherever they are san fran la wherever right um big open spaces and you have people just driving all these amazing luxurious sports cars must be so cool to see just to watch these all around you because i only see these things on youtube just be able to see them drive by you hear the engine and shit that must be so amazing gone wild skull Oh my wild? god. <laughs> girls go wild. Oh, girls go wild. <laughs> Should I apologize? Yes. No. Hey, yo, you. Come here. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not a yo. Come here. <laughs> what? Did she, did she say, hey, yo? Yo, this girl's putting it on Riley. Hey, you. Come here. I'm apologizing. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Just as an observation. This girl seems like way more of Yuri's type than Riley. Does that make any sense? Don't you guys think so? I honestly think. This girl that tried to put it on Yuri seems like she'd be way more Yuri's type than Riley would. Like, they're actually bad for each other, Riley and Yuri. But this other girl, you know, they kind of click. There's something there in terms of their appearance, in terms of how they go, you know, act, in terms of how they speak, how they carry themselves. There's definitely something there. <laughs> Maybe that's what Riley is so annoyed by. She can sense it, that in another timeline, this bandana girl and yuri will be together <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. Thanks. also unless you're going through chemo don't wear those bandanas they're fucking awful on girls they look horrendous <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> oh, all right so I, I need to, dropped a bag of one dollar and 99 right cents use it. let's go right here. Show audacity she grabbed yuri's junk <laughs> Bruh, <can> we not? <laughs> oh, we do. All right. Oh shit! Did you still leave? Oh no. Pack your odd. Riley dropped a bag can of two dollars. Riley, pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley, pack out that <laughs> lot lizard for touching your man. Riley, pack out that lot lizard for touching your man. Riley, pack out that. Lot Yo, so many white itches here. Bloody hell, man! Look at Toke smiling, having a wild time out with the wife. A couple of the concubines and shit. You know what I mean? Big up, Pot Lord. Oh, shit. You want me to do it? Because I will. You know me. I no, no, she's not. No, it's fine. We don't know what she said. She got a warning, okay? Can we let her get a warning? 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 Can we let her get a
yeah, it's an like, honor. It's literally. Definitely. So, like, just let me know. I would try to leave right now. It's an honor. These guys as well, man. Uh, Pot Law's got to relax. It's an honor. Are you guys for real? I swear to God. I, I, I swear to God. Like, no, no, no. She came as a doctor. I'm, not, I'm definitely, she she definitely fucked up. Me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is it there? Oh, yeah. My, my, oh, yeah. Tomorrow, my cousin. Wait, but the other cousin. You have two cousins. Yes, I know. They're all together. There's so many people. Yeah. Vel left, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, well, he oh, said. Oh, Ali? Ali? Oh, yes. I want to go. The Slippy Doodle? Oh, babe. It's okay. I know, I might need a little sweater. <laughs> uh, is my sweater in the, is my sweater in the car? I, no, I'm fine. It is not funny, it is not <laughs> funny, but it is. I'll put the cameras right there. Oh, All shit, right. sorry. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I'm literally just waiting for my fingers to hold the fucking That's why I'm like... Imagine how annoying it's got to be to hang out with somebody that just live streams every single day, all right? You can't really, you know what I mean, get on your shit, fuck around and shit, because there's always a fucking camera in front of you. It must be so fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's hey, you, come here. <laughs> Wait, are we on stream today? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's some you know, real shit. I don't give a fuck with that. I'm going to fucking say it. This nigga Bill. This nigga Bill. Don't get him in trouble. Don't get him in trouble. For real, don't get Bill. No. Babe, it's your friend. Okay, Don't great. say so much. What is it? Let me hear it first. <laughs> yeah, she so you might hear it. Live mod, live mod. For yeah, real, sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Like, no. Call me first. Damn. They gonna so figure it out anyway. So Bill called me and was like, yo, my bitch left me on. <laughs> he was with Boulevard. Why what would you say that? Aww, that's the thing you don't say. Yeah, that's all I say. He's about to come right now, y'all niggas won't notice anyway. There she is, Bandana Girl's back. <laughs> that hairline is fucking trouble though. The forehead is a madness. The headband has to go, but. I'm still getting the vibe that she's more of Yuri's type than Riley is. Weirdly enough, she came back into the fold. She's heard her name being spoken. She's like, what? Who's speaking about me? Huh? You got something to say? Say it to a man's face. You feel me? Let's see her. Cold out here. Oh, yes. I want to try to smell. <laughs> Go on, bandana girl. Look how quiet Riley got. Riley's quiet. Take off your earrings now, Riley. You're outside. Come on. Come on, Riley. Take off your earrings now. You're outside. Come on, Riley's quiet as a mouse. Look at all everyone's faces as well. They were all talking. This is this is typical girl shit, right? They were all talking about her before she got there. Now look at them, all nervously laughing, laughing and looking away. Girls are so f a k e. You know what I mean? Say it to the girl's face. She's right in front of you right now. Say it to her. Look at them, all looking away awkwardly. <laughs> Oh, okay, Riley. I respect that. You better get your own. Riley stepped up and said something straight away. She said, I want to bear that weed. She says, No, you better get your own. And look at her face. She's giving her the what? Huh? 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 Okay, cool. She's going to headbutt her with that fucking forehead. Right That's our split. Oh, then I'm bad. Yeah. I want that. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're the you can. Yeah. No, you're good. Friends. What did I do? I, I would. I would agree with that. Yeah. You no, I don't even care. I'm, I'm sorry. You're doing too much. I'm sorry. You're doing too. <laughs> Pack out Olympics. Are you doing too much? I'm sorry. You need that, a that apology was mascot. incredibly disingenuous. Really that's weird. <laughs> can I tell you I'm sorry? Okay, but that's weird. Make you feel that way. That's some weird ass shit. I really didn't mean to make you feel that way. Yes, we dropped a bag of one dollar. Because he's a random ass guy, that's why. Because I, I like it. I wish you just would have been honest. Because I was trying to fuck and what? I was trying to fuck your boy and what? <laughs> Yo, Riley. Riley. She got that MDMA courage in her, bro. I got some weird ass shit. Okay, well, if you feel that way, that's fine. All right, I'm sorry, then have okay? fun. Go I'm chill. You know, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Have fun, go chill, she said. <laughs> Uncle Ronnie dropped a bag of $1.99. 
Riley, that lot lizard fed Yuri on hood. Okay, cool. So you saw what happened there. Riley kind of stood up for herself, kind of didn't. The next part is the, the best part. Because after this, they get into some sort of fucking argument for some reason. It ends pretty well. Riley stands up for herself. Um, Yuri obviously turns down the Lot Lizard. The Lot Lizard runs away or goes home. Everything's perfectly fine. But somehow, these two lovebirds find a way to fuck up the end of the night. And they get too drunk or they're already too high or whatever it may be. They end up arguing about whether they should drive home or not. I'm thinking, because, you know... Yuri was doing a lot and trying to virtue signal on stream to say, oh, I'm not going to go home dr drunk driving. We should get an Uber, we should get an Uber, which is a good thing to do. Don't get me wrong. But I felt like he was doing it like to posture to the fucking chat and to basically let it be known that he doesn't do that thing because he probably has done it in the past. So there's a little bit of virtue signaling going on there, right? Cool. But the other side for me is this. I feel like in this scenario, it could have easily been de-escalated if Yuri didn't try so hard to make Riley look dumb in, on the chat and try to make himself look right, which he does all the time. Maybe because he's petty, maybe because he's immature, maybe because he doesn't really know how to flip in, interact with women. I don't really know sure what the reason is, but this is an argument that could have been avoided so easily. But he didn't, and it kind of went kind of, you know, it went nuclear really, really quickly, which is really unfortunate, but it's absolutely hilarious how this is the follow-up to the previous video where they essentially both are in agreement that the other girl was doing too much. They band together, they knock her down, and then they somehow get into the car and end up fucking fighting. So let's continue. Stop shaking your head. You know what else is annoying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to say it right now. He's so sassy. He's talking like a woman, isn't it? He? He's so awful, man. You know what else is sassy now? I don't even want to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. No. I'm fine. Of course I'm fine. Why do you keep asking if I'm okay? You know, he's talking like a fucking woman. Like, come on, Yuri, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm done. Then why are you acting like this? And then you and then you say, like, I'm the fucking bully or I'm bringing shit up. No, why are you I'm shaking your head right now? <laughs> are you going to, like, make me bring it up? It's like, no. Just stop. No, you stop. You're the one starting it. You're literally I the one I'm starting sorry. it. Can you chill? All right, no, th all right, thank God. Say I'm sorry and that's it. Drop Jeez. it. You're the one starting it right I'm now for not. no reason. No, I'm not going to have you, like, giving me all this fucking attitude when I'm trying to do no, the right please. thing. I'm trying to do the right thing compared to the wrong thing. This fucking guy, man. Great. Okay. We get it. You're the right guy. Great. Always the right guy. <laughs> you cannot help yourself. You can't help yourself. No, I would no, never you, do this to you. You can't help yourself. You're the one never would do You're this. the one looking at You just give me six dirty looks. Like, you can't help your. You can't help yourself. <laughs> you can't help yourself. Got you. No, got you. You're the one who got keeps you. doing it. Why are you doing, dude? I'm just waiting for you to. No, you're not. Shit. You're giving me this crazy ass mug. No, that's crazy. But What's okay. crazy? The that I don't want to drink and drive. I want to Uber. <laughs> you're gonna like piss me off, dude. This guy is a fucking piece of shit. Imagine embarrassing a guy that's in public. In front of the fucking stream chat, right? In front of the stream. Just in public in general, in front of people. Because maybe they're in an Uber right now. Maybe they're outside. Come on, man. Have some decorum. Like, wild one for this. Fair enough if you're... To be fair to... In my opinion, right? In this scenario, in my opinion. If you're both... If you and your girl are at a house party or at a rave. And the other one is really drunk and you're not as drunk. Or one of you is more drunk than the other. Then it's up to you to take the keys off of them. People do this all the time. As friends or whatever. You take the keys off of them. So either you drive or you get an Uber so you don't let your friend have the keys to drive back home drunk. That's all you do. It's not difficult. While they're having fun partying, you just say, yo, pass me the keys, isn't it? Nah, man, let me chill. Pass me the keys. Come pass me the keys. They give you the keys. You just keep a hold of them. You look after your friend. When, when they're finished and they're done, you help them fucking throw up. You help them get a glass of water, whatever. It's easy. It's light work. People do it all the time. But this guy's made such a big deal out of this whole shebang and he turns it into an opportunity to virtue signal on his stream and to prove he's some sort of good guy or something. When really, if you think about it, the reason why maybe you, Riley was so quick to say she wants to drive is because they've done it before in the past. Maybe they've actually driven home drunk and high before and she didn't see it as an issue. That's why she offered to do it in the first place. So now all of a sudden he's on stream. He wants to act like the fucking morality police. Principled man. Get out of here.
I can't stand you. Poop dollars dropped a bag of two dollars. <laughs> I, I am still here, you cock. You're Black, doing this. Pee -pee and yo girl. What am I supposed to keep the cap on for fit for 20 minutes? Jesus Christ. Am I supposed to keep the cap on for 20 minutes? No, you're the one putting me in this position and then bitching about it. Am I supposed to put the cap on Nody for 20 dropped minutes? A bag of your girl taking it to shush and you're still fucking chatting. Two dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your girl deserves a better man. <laughs> your girl deserves a better man. Never true one. To be fair to the chat, some of them are a little bit white knighting and cucking for Riley. I think they both deserve people better. They're clearly not good for each other. I don't think Riley is fucking smelling like roses either all the time. Obviously, Yuri isn't. He's fucking 19 going on 30. He's absolutely redacted. But... I think they both clearly shouldn't be with each other, quite clearly. But because of codependency, because of maybe finances, whatever, they don't want to leave each other. But they definitely shouldn't be together. Because if they're going through this on a daily basis, it's not going to turn around anytime soon. It's just going to get worse. <laughs> Especially the more famous or the more acclaimed Yuri gets from streaming. It takes up more of his time and shit. He gets maybe new friends, whatever. It's just going to get worse. So they, they probably should just hang it up already. Bruh. Bruh. Honestly, the brying of his girl is something that drives me so crazy. I don't know why it does. Maybe because I just hate the term anyway. But this overuse of bruh is annoying as fuck. I know it's probably just a, a slang thing because of where he's from, being from LA. But it drives me fucking mental. Why do you talk to your girl like that? <laughs> Honestly, these guys are so lucky they deal with like... I would say, you know, I think Riley is half Latina, but, you know, conventional white women. Because I feel like in my world, like, I could never get away with calling a girl that I'm trying to see or date or something, bruh, or mate, or trying to spud her or something. You get slapped, do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not your fucking boyfriend. I'm not, your, I'm, not, I'm not one of your pals or your boys, you know? Joe Bravo dropped a bag of You're $1.99. Doing this. Cents. No, stop telling Am me I stuff then. Really, I do, Dean. Stop telling me stuff then. You're the one doing this. He wants to hear so bad. <laughs> Joe Bravo dropped a bag of $1.99. Yeah, he's stop telling me stuff then. You're the one doing this. He wants to hear so bad. <laughs> he wants to give her a backhand slap so bad. A little Russian backhand slap. In Russia, women do not talk back. Dude, stop telling me stuff then. Just get the Uber. Pasiva. Can you stop, like, giving me these, like, smug remarks? Can you stop giving me these smug remarks? Can you stop giving me these smug remarks? How about that? Nobody's giving you smug yeah, you are. remarks. You, yeah, I'm you... just saying get the Uber. No, I want to go home. No, you said fucking asshole. Can you stop giving me these smug remarks? <laughs> he's, a, he's such a bitch, Randall. No, you called me a fucking asshole. Why did you call me a fucking asshole? You just told me to shut the fuck up right now. Why should I shut the fuck up, Riley? Riley, why are you telling me to shut the fuck up? Like, he sounds like such a Randall. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Milkman dropped a bag of two dollars. All that bottled up anger is coming out. Think Jesus Riley can't review the VOD. Yuri was going crazy in the room alone when Wiley wasn't looking. <laughs> are you are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now, dude? Oh, so I guess in the background, Riley's passively aggressive. Oh, not passively, but silently texting Yuri shit. I love that shit. I love how she's pressing his buttons by texting him while he's on stream and not saying anything and then getting him to react. <laughs> they know how, that's what I'm saying. They're not good for each other, man. They know how to press each other's buttons expertly. <laughs> she's just there typing away well on her phone and getting him riled. Really, dude? Bruh. What did you just say to me right now? I just want to go home. Are you kidding? Now you're crying. I mean, Why I'm are you crying? crying? Why are you crying? Yeah, you are. You I'm literally not. were just crying. Not Why not. are you crying? <laughs> because I said I want an Uber. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy, dude. Faded Fools dropped a bag of two dollars. 
You're you're being the wild one right now. Exactly. Be nice. Exactly. All right, let's drive. Can you read my message again before you send me something like that? Reread my message. No, reread my message. 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 Poop dollars dropped a bag of two dollars. Nick her, Nick her, Nick her, Nick her, Nick her. All right, that's it. No more TCS, bro. Fuck you, dude. Reread my message. The second half of it, to be specific. I think this is the dude right here. Hello? Woo! Why are you flipping out? You don't want to be with me. No, no, I'm not. You, did, did you read the second half? Did you read the second half of my message? If you're, if you're going to continue to give me an attitude, I'm just going to say it out loud. Oh, do you want me to say it out loud? Oh, so why are you continuing to... Be... No, I'm not threatening you. Do you want me to pretend... Why is, why is he threatening her about? I wonder what he's threatening her about. Do you want me to say it out loud? What is he threatening her about? I wonder what it's about. Maybe maybe she cheated before in a relationship. Maybe before in the past. But it's really interesting. Um, I wonder. Hmm. Do you want me to have a hat on for 20 minutes? I'm going to continue saying it. Unless you... I'm gonna continue saying it. You can't ignore. I'm gonna continue saying it. You can't acknowledge it. I'm not gonna have a hat on for 20 minutes. Jesus Christ, dude. You know who cares? You know. You know who? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. Yes, I'm definitely not the only one that's tri that's tripping. If you want to drink and drive, you can drink and drive on your own, dude. You're really annoying me. The fact that I can't like just. Glad you're saying that to your fucking. Oh my. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> Bloody hell, this guy. Okay, man. okay, no, okay, no, no. Oh, no, no. This guy is awful, honestly, because unfortunately, if you're with a drink driver and, or, you know, if your partner is a drink driver, then that reflects negatively on you also. That's why sometimes I don't get guys who, like, want to, like, win arguments with their significant other and make them feel dumb. If you win an argument with your significant other and you make them feel dumb, then guess what? You're with a dummy. You're in a relationship with a fucking dummy. If you're make, if you that's what you're trying to do, it's not. It don't actually make you look good. If anything, you should be trying to appeal to the partner's better nature, right? To try and make them understand why that isn't a good thing to do, and to get them around to your way of thinking. But you shouldn't be lording it over their heads that you are somehow, you know, morally superior to them, and that you are principled, and you would never do such a thing as drink and driving like that. That's what you shouldn't do, especially not in front of other people. That's so weird, man. So bizarre. Hold on, Sal. Don't cut me off. No, no, don't cut me off. Okay, since you want to say that, you want me to it's have like, the it's hat like the, on. It's like they're point scoring in front of strangers. Okay, okay, so you said this, you said that. Like, what is going on here? For 20 minutes. And then we get home, the and, then the, and, then the, and then I tell the and then I tell and then I tell the chat, hey guys, we're just home all of a sudden. Just shut the fuck hey up. guys, get, to, okay, hey guys, guess, get on hey, so hey guys, guess what? We're okay. home all of a sudden. Ah, uh, she called him a rat. Riley called Yuri a rat. You rat me out. <laughs> Riley, Yuri's gonna. Yuri is fucking gonna, and Riley is young function. You fucking rat. <laughs> this relationship is fucking doomed. Rat. That's not a rat. That's like common sense. You don't have to be an idiot to figure that out. Like an idiot can figure that out. He's a rat. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're defending that. No, you're I'm defending not. your choices I'm... right now. Oh my god! Like you can't, you can't admit your. This, this, this. What do you call this as well? By the way, what do you call that? You're defending this. Are you kidding me? What did you say? Like, is that is that a form of like bullying? What is that? People do that sort of stuff. That kind of like. You're trying to go the person into a reaction and shit. What is that? Is that a bullying thing? What's the term for it? How would you describe something like that?
Are you kidding? Are you this? Are you that? Ugh. Is it manipulation? What do you call it? They're bullying each other. Yeah, seven day. Yeah, true, true, true. You're wrong. Like, no. We're gonna literally Uber. Literally parked. We're gonna yeah, Uber. Literally parked. We're gonna Uber. Ready to Uber. No, you you were mad. So you keep talking about me on your live. Stop fucking guilt tripping me for taking an Uber. Like that's crazy. Nobody's not. Guilty. Yeah, you are. You're still doing it right now. No, I'm shit. not. I'm literally just sitting back oh, here. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you're just kicking it. Sorry. I was tripping. Do you have the keys? Yeah, I do. Thank you for doing that, Yuri. <laughs> doing what? Ah, uh, she's getting it. We were on street. Okay, I'm sorry that I have to break this down like a fucking no, idiot right now. Up. But we were on stop. street. No, hold on. No, no, don't tell me to stop. We were on street for three hours. We took hella shots and drinks. And then we're just going to teleport home. Amazing. <laughs> fucking genius. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to tell the stream. No, no, no. I'm going to tell mom and dad. Like, fucking hell, Yuri is giving fucking dork energy, in it? Strong dork, randomly, snitchy, ratty fucking energy. No, no, no. I'm going to tell mum and dad. Okay, so what actually happened? So like, fucking hell, bro. Obviously, it's a hassle. But I'm not going to fucking do that on stream. No, that's stupid. <laughs> No, no, no. What are you, what are you laughing at? Like, you're gonna really piss me off right now, dude. I already am. What's he gonna do? He's gonna, he's yeah, gonna you are. And you're still, you, can, you still can't take it, like, account, like. You're mad that I wanted. I would to, never do this. You're to mad that you're, you're mad that I wanted to order an Just Uber. Shut up. No, no, no stop telling me to shut up because you, you're you're mad that common you're sense right, right. common sense will like literally a one year old can be like, oh, they just took hella drinks and they're just uh, home all of a sudden. Strange. He's calling her a one year old. Yeah, brilliant. I'm, honestly, I would get. I would have been getting beaten up so easily from this. I would have hit some slaps. Something would have been thrown on my head. You can't just be talking to people like this, but. He gets away with murder, man. Fucking hell. Even a one-year-old can figure that out. <laughs> Bro, that's so crazy. Dude, I'm gonna have to get dropped off right now. I'm serious. I'm gonna get what do you mean stop? You're literally, you're, 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 you're literally crying because I'm not I ordered. Crying? Nobody's crying. You literally started crying. Did you see a fucking yeah, drop? I did. Yeah, I did. You're, you're literally crying because nobody's you're, crying. You're literally crying because I ordered an Uber. Nobody's crying. No, there's no one tear shed. You just there's no, is there a tear shed? No, there's not. There's not one tear shed. You trying to gaslight her with this crying? You're literally crying now. You're crying. So shut up. So you're mad at ordering an Uber still? He's still going. Okay, that's no, the thing. I'm... He can't let anything go. This is a fucking weird thing that's happening. Because I think, in my personal opinion, I personally think if you're a man, you should always try and de-escalate arguments. Because naturally, I feel like women are far better at arguing than men anyway. And usually, you know, you don't want to make arguments get worse than what they are. So you just, if anything... Just try and de-escalate it. Just try and bring it down a notch by maybe being quiet, by maybe saying, cool, no problem. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Whatever. But you're, you should be de-escalating. You shouldn't be egging it on, doing the little quips in between. That's the thing that's really strange about this dude. It kind of sounds like he doesn't like her. <laughs> Mad that you're fucking telling me on no, no, stream. No, like, that's no, weird. no, before I even said anything on, <laughs> on stream. Solid stop saying, stop saying, hey, when I'm not even Yeah, talk. exactly. Hey, boss. What do you think? Who do you think's right here? <laughs> My girlfriend who wanted to drink and drive or me who's morally posturing and virtue signaling in front of my live chat that I didn't want her to do it. Who's, 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 who's right and wrong here? You were, you were already mad before I even said anything on stream. I was... Can I finish talking? Before I even said anything on stream, you were already mad and giving me dirty looks that I'm trying to <laughs> order an Uber. Like no, yeah, you were. Okay. yes, you were. Okay. Yes, you were. Okay. Yes, you were. Can I finish talking, aka shut the fuck up?
what? You're never what? I'm not going on this shit again. On what? This on camera, stream? Yeah. You're never going on stream again because you want to drink and drive tonight, and oh. I ordered an Uber. Because <laughs> you went to drink and drive. Fucking hell, Yuri, man. Fucking hell. This guy is a fucking savage. You went to drink and drive. You went to fuck all the boys. That's why you want to. You don't want to come on camera ever again because you want to drink and drive. Get out of here, dude. Stop, like. You can't seem to understand, like, just stop. Keep talking to me like that. You're no, still keep talking, talking to me like, like dude, I'm gonna get, like, I'm gonna ask the Uber driver to pull over, I'm gonna hop out and you can go home, and I'll figure it out. Like, I'm, like, you're gonna piss me off right now. <laughs> He's getting dude. angry, he wants to get violent. What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do if she pisses you off? What are you gonna do, eh? What are you gonna do? Why, what are you laughing at? Laugh crazy. at yourself. Yeah, I'm, la I'm fucking, laughing at you. Because I fucking, because I, Alright, dude. I'm not laughing right, at you. Alright, dude. You wanna laugh at me? I said I'm not right, you laughing wanna, you wanna at laugh, you. You wanna laugh at me, dude? No, but I just you're said I'm not laughing at you. Because all I said was like, hey, I wanna Uber home instead of you drinking and driving, and I then you get mad at me. Alright, drinking and driving. I just said I wasn't laughing at you. No, go ahead, laugh at me. Drinking I just said I wasn't laughing at you. You literally just said I'm laughing at you. No, I didn't. I said I wasn't laughing at you. I'm saying, what are you laughing at? Drinking and driving? I'm laughing at no, you. No, I didn't. You did okay. not listen to me at all. So what are you, la so what are you laughing at? I'm know. laughing at the situation because it's so stupid. Oh, yeah, it is pretty stupid that you're mad at me for wanting to order an Oh, Uber. for fuck's That's sake, shut stupid. up, Yuri. Fuck, you won the argument. You're in the fucking Uber. Relax, man. Fucking hell. Gaslight King, right? Yeah, you're right. Gaslight King, horrible boyfriend for sure. He's the worst. And I'm sure, again, I'm sure Riley has her faults, but I'm just saying it from the point of view of a man because I feel like men should take charge sometimes in those kind of scenarios. And if it can be avoided, sometimes it can't. Sometimes you, you, you and your partner need to have a good argument, a good hashing out of shit. Fair, but more often than not, it can be avoided. If it can be avoided, avoid the fucking argument, man. Simmer it down, chill it out a little bit. Not be goading it or gaslighting it or whatever it may be, so you can make yourself feel morally superior. Because if anything, like I said before, you don't win if you prove that your girlfriend is a dummy. Because then it means you're dating a fucking dummy. You know what I mean? Like no one wins in that way. Like fuck me. Finally, silence. Let's see how long this lasts. Yeah, all well, the racist the retards in the fucking chat, you guys ruin the TTS. Thank you. You're trying to be funny, but that's it. You just ruined it. Finally silent for a bit. This is good. They need this. It should have happened fucking ten minutes ago to be fair. Like, no problem, Riley, I get it, no worries. Like, we'll talk about we'll when we get home. We we'll just end it there. This nigga was still fucking going on and on and on and on and on.
Yeah, it's good. Fair enough. Now they're quiet. Let's see if we speed up a little bit. If they start arguing again. Let me fast forward a little bit here. Okay, they're quiet the whole time. Nice. Good. So they'll start arguing again when they get back home. What? Okay. I would never drink. Oh, there we, okay, cool. There, there we go. We're on stream. There we go. Of course it blows up. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it could last forever. Here we go. <laughs> it's dying again. Here we go. Here what are you shaking your head for? What, no, what do you mean I'm doing that? You're still mad that we didn't drive? No, I'm not. Why are you shaking your head for them? <laughs> you're doing that it's funny not to do Doing that. what? No, you're, you're, literally, you're giving me an attitude for wanting to order an Uber. No, and now you're, and now, attitude. no, yes, you were. And now you're still mad that I wanted an Uber instead of a drive. And now you're shaking your head. I don't give a fuck what you say, dude. I'm not gonna, like, like, drink and drive on stream. Jesus Christ, like, man. Do what? Do what? We're on stream. I would never do We're that on too. stream. We're fun. on stream. I'm not revealing any secrets. We're on stream. Everyone just saw us drinking. Now, 10 minutes shut later, we're going to be driving? Up, you're oh, you, you, have to be, you, have to be, you have to be Einstein to put those just together. Shut up. You got to be Einstein yeah, to put shut up. You have to be Einstein to put those together. You can't stop You can't. Yourself. No, you can't. Exactly. You keep cutting me up. You, yeah, you literally have to be a fucking genius to put together. Oh, oh they just God, drank and now crazy. they're driving. That's, I would never do this. To do what? You're just I would crazy. never drink and drive with you like, like this on stream. I would be like, dude, let's Uber. I don't care if it's a. Yuri just can't let it go. They're in the Uber. They're already home now. They're about to pull up to their fucking apartment and he just can't let it go. He can't let it go. Okay, you were right. She shouldn't have drunk. She shouldn't have tried to get in the car and try to drive back home, you know, drunk. Fair. Okay. But the arguing and the bickering over this is so fucking pointless, right? Just go home. 30 what? extra bucks. Stop shaking your head then. You're in the wrong here. Fucking no. <laughs> she'll talk to her like she's a child. Like, <laughs> this is how he acts on podcasts, to be fair. It's quite, it's quite comforting in a weird way to see the same annoying way that he talks on the podcast is the same way he talks to his girlfriend in a weird way. Like, I never liked Yuri anyway, from Reconnected, from Disconnected, from whatever else they do now right um from the no jumper show wherever or no jumper content he always seemed to be somebody that was incredibly insufferable right somebody that thinks he's way smarter than what he is and just somebody incredibly incredibly immature for his age and he just annoys me kind of similar into the burt kreischer model he kind of fits like the kind of dudes were like stuck in a constant stuck in a perpetual state of like um you know immaturity you know they haven't ever fucking evolved or anything or, you know, grown up. Like, he's literally, I think, 29 years old, but he acts like he's fucking 17. Um, the same reason why Bert's not for me, right? He's, like, 50 years old and he acts like he's 35. It's fucking cringe. So he's got the same sort of mannerisms as Bert, really. Right here is perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bless the Uber. I would love Uber. Uber drivers, they need a documentary on that. I think documentaries are needed, in my opinion, in society. We need a documentary on night on um, nightclub culture, but specifically the culture around girls and guys who posture and fucking fight over standing in the DJ booth. Because the DJ booth has now become the new VIP. To stand behind the DJ as he's playing and to be at the back there looking important because why else would you be there because you're a VIP? We need a documentary that focuses on that entire scene. We also need a documentary on Uber drivers, right? Lyft drivers, like the day-to-day, -day, um, the many random people they encounter throughout their fucking night. Like, you know, the hassles and whatever it may be. And just the amount of bickering and arguments they must fucking hear driving a car every day around the fucking towns they live in we need that we need that have a good night thank you thank you man i appreciate you oh no the uber driver's jumping in for uri you did the right thing man you're protecting her you did the right thing man
You did the right thing. She never should have got behind the wheel. You did the right thing. Oh, the fucking Uber driver. You did the right things, man. Honestly, you did the right thing. If she needs a nice Bengali or Indian man to settle her down, tell her to come round to my house. I will shove these two fingers up her coochie so hard. <laughs> you did the right thing. Oh, fucking hell. Now he's going to have the biggest head ever. You did the right thing, man. The right, right thing. You did it. Well done. You did the right thing. <laughs> Uber drivers on fucking Yuri's side. What an absolute psychopath, man. Oh, my God. What is going on here? What are we doing here? What is going on here? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> exactly. The Uber driver also hates women. <laughs> And then to make it worse, right? To make it worse, um, if I'm not mistaken, somehow, 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 Yuri got fucking Riley to apologize. Can you believe that? He actually got her to apologize. I'm not sure what she apologized for, but he got her to apologize to the fucking stream, to the fucking chat. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how much of a piece of shit you have to be to get your girlfriend to go on stream and fucking apologize to the internet <laughs> for something that happened to you two she's now apologizing to the fucking internet this guy is a fucking psycho a legit psycho like legitimately up there with the best of them psycho oh let me get it up on here let me show you because this is fucking hilarious let's hear riley apologizing Niggas even playing sad music. <laughs> they play sad music. Oh no, Riley. Yuri. End this already. Actually, you know what I like actually, to be fair. I like this Yuri setup. This is really cool. So it looks like he painted one side of his wall green and he can have use as a green screen. I think that's a really clever way to have a green screen. So I have a green scene, you know? I, I, I quite like that actually. I think I might do that. Well, when I eventually move. <laughs> Sorry, bloody hell. Apologies for that. <clears throat> When I eventually move, end up getting a second room that I can use to do my studio and my podcasting and live streaming and shit, I might get something similar to this, you know? Like this stuff where I might paint a wall section, a particular thing, and then swap out the graphics and shit. That's pretty cool. I quite like that idea. It's really cool. Anyway, let's get back to the video. <laughs> this is so embarrassing man why is he making his girlfriend do this what does this have to do with the fucking chat whose business is this what the fuck is this going on honestly man fuck yeah um again Tashki, that's a good point actually i probably should have a green i could probably put the green screen up on my fucking shelf to be fair i'll just need clips i actually might try it actually I might actually give it a go, but I've just, I, I think I was scared to do it before because I wasn't too sure if my computer could handle it because it's already struggling as it is, but I might have to actually get a green screen and see if I can hang it up on my shelf because it probably would work because it, it would help me because I can't make myself center on the shelf all the time. So it actually would help if I actually had a green screen and I could just have it kind of blank. But anyway, let's see. But fuck, you know, it's so embarrassing. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for... What happened last night? I got way too fucked up. <laughs> Let's see in HD. Let's see this in HD. <laughs> Making your girlfriend up. Honestly, this guy's lucky he's dealing with white girls or a particular type of white girl because I could never get away with this Hi, shit. Everybody. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for what happened last night. I got way too fucked up. And imagine, right? Okay, this is happening. This already is embarrassing and cringe inappropriate unnecessary right but if this is happening why isn't yuri sitting by her side and trying to comfort her and saying don't worry babe it's all good i appreciate you apologizing but don't worry like why is he just like acting like yeah you should be apologizing like he's like this suit in the bed and shit being all stern and letting his girl get publicly flogged right by a fucking stream chat that actually contributed to you guys arguing in the first place He's just leaving her by herself just to go and apologize. And he's just pretending like, mm, 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 mm. bro, go and comfort your girl, man. Well, one for this. 
and I was being super stupid, and Yuri definitely did the right thing, <laughs> calling the Uber, and I don't know, I just st- got so mad and upset, and I just couldn't stop. I think I was just way too drunk and angry and shit. <laughs> Why were you drunk and angry? Can you explain that? Is it because some random girl tried to fuck Yuri before and he didn't really stand up for you in any way, shape or form and he actually egged on the fucking beef? Could that be why? Could it be because of all the fucking months and w- or weeks of fucking abuse you've been suffering off of the back of this fucking live stream in the first place that is obviously helping you as a couple but is destroying your relationship? Could it be because you're going through whatever you're going through personally? Because I don't think Riley's got a job ever since you got fired from No Jumper and you're fucking struggling and you're trying to figure shit out and you're young and everything's happening at the same time and, uh, 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 and you max out all your credit cards. Could that be something to do with it? And it all kind of blows up at that point. That could be all rational, reasonable reasons for why she acted that way. And Yuri could be like, understanding, cool, babe, it's all right. I just, well, I'm looking out for you. Da, 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 da. Let's just chill. Let's just have a good car ride home. Let's relax. Blah, blah. Nah. He just keeps fucking pouring more gasoline on that fire. More gasoline. More gasoline. Gasolina. Uh, gasolina. Like fucking hell, brother, man. And now he's got his fucking girl out here apologizing to a fucking stream chat. For what? For what? Que cosa? And I'm sorry to Yuri for making you embarrassed and like doing this to you online. I'm sorry to Yuri. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. He just stands there. It's okay. Bro, give her a hug, man. Fucking hell. These dudes. No wonder people's guys... Honestly, it's no surprise to me some guys out there, girlfriends, get jacked so easily. No wonder some of you guys, girls, get stolen from you so easily. They get fucking snatched up from your underneath your arm so easily because you treat them like shit. So when a guy comes along who has the smallest amount of decency, the smallest amount of manners, the smallest amount of appreciation, love, and whatever it may be, girls go crazy. Because this is what they're used to on a daily day basis. Do you know what I mean? Because he put up, I've seen videos of Yuri always in a fucking passenger seat. Like sitting there, like a little B-I-T-C-H. When they pull up to the gas station, he doesn't pour the gas for her. He goes and asks her, oh, while you're paying for the gas, while you're putting the gas in, and while you're paying for it, could you get me some crisp? Could I have a Mars bar? But not the one with that, the one with this. And like he's there sitting in the passenger seat, letting her do everything. So the moment she meets a guy who decides, hey, babe, even though it's your car, let me drive today. Let me let me give you a rest. He decides to go and put petrol in the car and doesn't ask her for money. He decides to go into the fucking shop and buy a little rose at the fucking petrol station just as a fucking gesture and bring it back to the car and be like, hey, babe, this is for you. You deserve it. She's going to go goo goo gaga. Because she's used to a guy sitting in a fucking passenger seat like a bitch with his fucking selfie camera streaming. This is why you guys, girls, get jacked because you don't treat them good. It doesn't take too much effort to treat them good. Fucking hell, man. Jesus. I'm sorry, too. (laughs) He closed the door. (laughs) No, is he going to follow her across the door and stay in the room? Okay, thank God. Oh my god, I'm always gonna close the door and just get back to the stream. That would have been hilarious. He just closed the door. Okay, bye. That would have been fucking hilarious if he did that. Oh my god, man. I fucking love Yuri. He is an absolute donut and a savage at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Okay, cool. He did follow her. Okay, cool. He followed her. Fair play. Anyway, what an absolutely ridiculous situation. She's out here fucking pouring her soul out to a stream chat. <laughs> Apologizing to the chat. <laughs> Sorry for being drunk and high <laughs> and having an emotional moment with my boyfriend in front of the world to see. Oh, um, it couldn't be me, man. Couldn't be me. But yeah, they deserve each other, really. They deserve each other. It's a fucking mess. Um, it kind of is what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Oh, this guy's too much, man. Honestly. <laughs>